Not me being in LA. Not me, guys, I, honestly, I didn't even mean to be doing this, but not me arriving in LA. I'm literally here whilst I'm here to talk about this particular girl called Sophia who scammed so many of these LA influencers from here for absolute filth. $11 million, guys. 11 million. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali, back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Inject it, and let's get straight into this video um, where we're talking about this particular girl called Sophia. I don't know the ins and outs of the story. I don't think anybody knows the ins and outs of the story. It became a viral trend of discussion in the last 48 hours, especially there's so many spaces all over it that people are speaking about it. I feel like the spaces have now become somewhat a new clubhouse. I don't know how to, that, that, not that I really was I'm not really active on clubhouse spaces on this, you know, on these platforms, but I just feel like it's, it's becoming into that. It's just hilarious how clubhouse just got robbed like that, mad. Um, but anyways, this particular girl, Sophia, you know, pretended that she was an influencer, pretended that she knew people, got into events, um, you know, pretended that she was somebody. The victim card on me and she called me in the middle of the night crying on Sunset Boulevard talking about I don't have anywhere to stay my cousin stole money from me blah 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 so I booked her the hotel or whatever right cool but then she asked me again the next day to book her another hotel room for another $250 I said bitch fuck no because you haven't given me back that $250 and then a month ago I bought this bitch a fucking plane ticket and she said that she was sending the money back on PayPal. Told people that she was pregnant with Jack Harlow's baby. He was a musician. You know, scammed so many LA influencers out of money, pretending that you know she was going meant to cover the flights and hotels, but that something was wrong with her card, and then she would you know um, pay them back, but then never really did. Sneaked her way into the MTV or VMAs or something like that, into all of these award shows. Like, and then this all came out, and there's been long threads from so many people who have their own stories and some people who were talking about on their spaces about admitting to giving their card information. Why, number one, why would you be so dumb to do that? Number two, why would you even be even more dumber to admit that and think that, you know, like I don't understand. There's, there's levels to this nonsense behavior from these influencers and there's levels to her scamming. Tenfold actually, bitch. I want, since you took, 450, bitch, I want 900 back. And every day that you fucking wait, I'm gonna ask for more. And the fact that she took $11 million. Now, I don't know if this, is, this story is even true. I don't know how this even got started. I don't know how this began trending. There's so many potholes even in this video. So hopefully you guys in the comment box below can let me know if you guys know a lot more about this whole situation, about this particular girl who just scammed her way. And 11 million is a lot of coins, guys. It's a lot of coins. And I know that I have some mutual friends um, in LA that know of people who probably were scammed by her or know of people that have friends that were scammed. LA isn't that huge. But I will say this thing. I do feel like that, like no shade, no tea. I don't even need to be saying this. And the fact that I'm saying this in their own city, but I do feel like LA influencers are just dumb. I feel like they're just stupid as hell, thick as hell. And they just, they're so pressed about being on the scene that they have this mirage. And what I mean by that is they pretend, just from the things that I see, I'm a very observant individual, and I can see that they, people really want to be something here. This is not my first time in LA. I come, I've been coming here quite actively, three, four times a year normally, and LA has just opened up to the UK after a year and a half. Um, but you just, I get that sense from people that they really, in order for them to be of value, they need to be, you know, have a lot of weight. Now that applies to everywhere because social media has dried out the whole world. But especially in LA, there's a level of desperation that I haven't seen anywhere else. And it's just so sad that people are very gullible. People are very believable. They will follow you around. If they know that you know somebody important, you are a significant amount of importance because you know that person who's a musician, because you may know Kardashian, because you may know Jack Harlow, because you may know Tiger, or because you may know, you know, I don't know, Lil Nas or this, this, that. You are something that a figure of importance. Everybody wants to hang around you. Shit from China all the time through PayPal. I've sent money to people all over the world through PayPal. And that is not the fucking case. But I let that shit fucking slide because I keep fucking playing with me. I will file a police report and make sure that you never step foot in the United States ever again because of connections 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 and by doing so you dilute your friendships the friendships don't really have any depth substance and are just saturated in the nonsense and it's just a bit fake i don't know what it is i just feel like it's just yeah 
I don't know, LA is cute, but like I don't ever see myself living here. No shade, no tea. And I just feel like the influencers here are just very, they're just very believable when it comes to stuff. It's just the way they move and talk and you know, everything's very surface level and even their conversation can be surface level as well. You can tell that they don't like each other, but yet you see them interact with each other. This is, this isn't obviously everybody here. Uh, let's not um, generalize, sorry, but it's just interesting. I just find it very, I just, I'm a very observant individual. So when I see um, how people interact with each other and what they think of each other and what they say behind each other's backs, it's just so interesting because you guys don't like each other like that. But I don't know, it's kind of weird. So for this Sophia girl to slither her way into these influencer circles, in these LA influencer circles, and just catch everybody like that, that's. Sophia, that's Sophia right now. Do you understand? My girl is running to the bank to cash these damn checks and flying back to wherever the hell she wants to fly to because she wants to live she wants to, she wants to live it up large for her 11 million dollars not 100,000 not even 1 million 11 million dollars the way that she got into these circles apparently she scammed some of her family members as well which i don't think is a good thing to do as well and i feel like scamming your way probably isn't the best thing but i also feel like these LA influencers are dumb as hell like they're just so thick when it comes to stuff like this. They see these, if you got all of these, if you're, if you just, it's not even about followers. If you just know somebody that is of, of substance or wealth, which is followers for people here, it's a big significance. It's just interesting. And it's not that serious guys. Like you can have all the followers in the world, but we're all gonna die one day. So, you know, all these subscribers I have, what are they gonna matter when I'm in my grave? Nothing. So I just find it to be so interesting. But this Sophia girl has, you know, shattered a lot of people's in like just, how can she just do, how can she just act like go around and tell people that she was apparently telling people that she was a PR for a company or for, for some guy because she met, but she really just took a selfie with him outside the club, but she converted that into that kind of theory. The fact that people believed her that she was carrying Jack Harlow's baby is absolutely insane. Like, there are so many stories coming out. I could be here for a good half an hour if I really did a surviving Sophia kind of whole narrative. I really wanted to just bring this to my channel because everybody's been discussing it and I want to know what you guys think about this and the fact that I'm in LA as I'm recording this video I find to be hilarious because that's just hilarious to me I'm literally in I'm literally that Sophia wow Sophia is gone Sophia ain't waiting for nobody my girl's doing a wheelie and she's riding on this damn boat right but the way I'm just probably like feet away from people who, who got scammed by her. I just find to be so funny. How dumb can someone, why would you willingly give your credit card information to people that you don't even know properly? What are you doing? And London is where I'm from, and London is where the biggest fraud takes place. I believe, because fraud is massive in London. So for it to be happening out here to the point where you've been, you've collected $11 million, I can't even be mad, that's, that's just shocking. That's mad. 11 million dollars guys let me know your thoughts are on this whole survivor severe situation maybe you guys know, know a lot more stories about what she has done if you guys do comment down below i want to read them i want to know what your thoughts are on this if you guys know more about this situation subscribe to the channel click that button guys for daily and consistent content subscribe 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 and i will catch you guys soon for another video